Next compound is P hydrated aluminium chloride, which we may write as AlCl3 6H2 or AlH2 whole 6 with 3 positive charge and Cl3. Preparation Number 1 By dissolving aluminium hydroxide in dilute HCl. So the reaction is AlOH hull 3 plus 3HCl giving AlCl3 plus 3H2O. Here HCl gas is circulated through the solution to obtain crystals of AlCl3 6H2O. Second, by dissolving anhydrous aluminum chloride in water that we have already seen, the reaction can be written as AlCl3 plus 6H2O giving AlH2O whole 6 3 plus Cl3. Properties It's a white or yellowish deliquescent crystalline compound soluble in water and also in alcohol. Its aqueous solution is acidic in nature. It's an important point. What the reason? The answer is, since aluminum ion is highly charged and quite small, therefore the OH bond in coordinated H2O molecules becomes weak and other solvent water molecules are able to act as bases and abstract proton from AlH2O whole 6 3 plus cation. Thus, the reaction can be written as in the form of an equilibrium AlH2O whole 6 3 plus aqueous plus H2O liquid giving AlH2O whole 5 OH 2 positive charge aqueous plus H3O plus aqueous. Mark it as equation number 1 or equilibrium number 1. With dissociation constant or acid dissociation constant Ka equal to 1.12 into 10 to the power minus 5. The ion AlH2O whole 5 OH with 2 positive charge aqueous may undergo further dissociation as given below. That is AlH2O whole 5 OH 2 positive aqueous plus H2O liquid giving AlH2O whole 4 OH whole 2 with 1 positive charge in aqueous medium plus H3O plus that becomes our second equilibrium. But the dissociation constant for this is naturally going to be very low. However, if the solution contains anions like carbonate or sulphide, then the above equilibria may go ahead forming bicarbonate ion and then carbonic acid etc. Thus it is clear that aqueous solution of hydrated aluminum chloride is acidic and moreover it is not possible to prepare aluminum carbonate or aluminum sulphide from aqueous solution of aluminum chloride. Rather we get ultimately a gelatinous precipitate of aluminum hydroxide. The second point is when ammonium hydroxide is added to aqueous solution of aluminum chloride a gelatinous white precipitate of aluminum hydroxide is obtained which does not dissolve in excess of NH4OH. Thus the reaction is AlCl3 plus 3 NH4OH giving AlOH whole 3 a precipitate plus 3 NH4Cl. Third, but if anabert solution is used in the above reaction, then 
aluminum hydroxide precipitate gets dissolved in excess of NaOH so that we can write AlOH all 3 precipitate plus NaOH in excess forms a soluble compound NaAlOH all 4 that gets converted into NaAlO2 plus 2H2. Next, we are going to study alums. These are compounds as double sulfates with general formula M2SO4, M2SO4 whole 3, 24H2O, where M means monovalent cation such as K plus, NH4 plus, CS plus, etc. And M dash means a trivalent cation such as Al3 plus, Cr3 plus, Fe3 plus, etc. For example, potash alum, which is commonly known as alum, has the formula K2SO4, Al2SO4 whole 3, 24H2. Chrome alum has the formula K2SO4, Cr2SO4 whole 3, 24H2. Similarly, ferric alum would be written as NH4 whole 2 SO4, Fe2 SO4 whole 3, 24H2, and so on. Preparation Alums are prepared by mixing hot solutions of equimolar quantities of their constituent sulfates, and the resulting solution is then cooled for crystallization. Properties Alums are crystalline solids. These are fairly soluble in hot water, but less soluble in cold water. Their aqueous solutions are acidic in nature and show the properties of M plus, M3 plus, and sulfate ions. These are isomorphous with each other. On heating, they swell up due to elimination of water molecules. Alums are good coagulating agents. Potash alum is used as mordant in the textile industry because it binds to both cloth and dye molecules, thereby serving to fix the dye to the cloth. It is used in purification of water and also in paper industry to make the product stronger and non-porous. Let us now solve some questions based on boron and aluminium chemistry. Here is question number one. Explain the following with appropriate reasons. Number one, although aluminium is above hydrogen in the electrochemical series, yet it is stable in air and water? So the answer is, there is formation of a thin protective film of aluminium oxide formed on the surface of aluminium, which protects it from further attack of air and water. The second is, an hydrous aluminium chloride fumes in moist air. The answer is, the fumes are that of HCl, formed as below. AlCl3 plus 3H2O, so this is the moisture from the air. They react to give AlOH3 plus 3HCl, so fumes are that of HCl. 